Hey, Ethan's. Relax, God folk. Someone uh, new to YouTube showed up in one of my sticking rooms. Uh, I have enjoyed his uh, comments uh, there, and uh, he has sent me this video that I'm responding to uh, today. Uh, he asked three questions, and I, I want to address them. So let's get to the first one right away. He says, do you use the word atheist to describe yourself? I don't think there's any surprise to anyone who watches my videos who knows. Yes, I do. Um, here's basically what he's getting at. He's saying, uh, he's asking, you know, do you, do you accept the word and all the baggage that goes with it, or do you change and call yourself something else? It's that, that's the idea of what he's, he's getting at uh, uh, in, in these questions. I like the baggage that goes along with that word for a twofold reason. Reason number one is I get to expose people's ignorance. I like being able to go up to someone and when they realize that I'm an atheist, they go, but you don't have horns. And I can explain to them, I'm just a normal person just like anybody else. There are plenty of other rational, calm, uh, nice people who just don't believe in God. And it just shatters everything they thought the world was. Um, and then, of course, the even more common, uh, and it's sad that either of these actually exist, but um, you're an atheist? Does that mean you worship the devil? No. Uh, don't believe in God. I don't believe in hell. Therefore, I don't believe in your devil. Um, but, you know, I, I like using that word. I like the shock factor that it, it brings. I'm happy with the baggage. Um, I understand that it'll take some warming people back up to me, uh, but it, I'm in a unique position from most people because of just who I am and how, I, uh, mo how, how many people know who I am and accept me in a, as a whole. So when they find that out after the fact, it's not hard to you know get them to accept me um, against it, uh, but but anyway, um, so yes, I, I use the word and uh, and I'm proud to use that word. Uh, question number two: Do you think it's important to point out the difference between atheist and anti-theist? Now, see, I've done this before. The word anti-theist suggests that you are against theists, and I'm not necessarily against theists. I'm just against theism and that very fine line that you have to walk in order to uh, designate what that means um, is important. And so I, I don't like anti-theist. I abandoned, I abandoned that word a long time ago in preference for non-theist. I am a non-theist and I'm happy to acknowledge that I'm a non-theist as well. Non-theist is more inclusive to me and it, it allows people who don't like the word atheist to l get together into a larger group. Agnostics, pantheists, even deists can qualify as a non-theist. That's why when I do my monthly awards, the, ha uh, the Halo Award goes to a theist, but the transgender species is any non-theist, so deists can win it as well. Uh, and I think that's a very important distinction to, uh, to make, even though, like I said, it's a very fine line that you're drawing at, at that point in time. Um, so is it important to point out the difference between a theist and an anti-theist? I don't think anti-theist should even, what, well, that doesn't sound right. It's not that they shouldn't exist, but they, they should reconsider their approach. If you're just against a person, you know, you gain nothing regardless of what you do, so it really doesn't matter. But I think the word non-theist is much better, and so is it important to point out the difference between an atheist and a non-theist? It's not important, but it sure does give a whole lot more leeway. And let's face it, the larger the number we can show of how many people fit into our category, the more power we will wield. Um, atheists get no support when it comes to election time uh, because we're looked at as being this small group. But depending on how you ask the question and which survey you prefer, we outnumber homosexuals, we outnumber black people. Yet each of those have their own caucuses. Think about that for a minute. The term non-theist will allow a lot of people who simply don't accept that there is a God who answers prayers and interferes in human lives to join together and go, let's get rid of all these crazy people who have been screwing up the country for the last several decades. 
And I think that's an important thing. Last question. Do you, do you think making a new word to describe atheism, such as bright or, as I've proposed, non-theist, is beneficial? Yes, I, I do think it's beneficial. I think it's important um, to kind of cut ties with some of that baggage and, and allow people to just simply accept who we are. Let's face it, atheist is a word that should not exist to begin with. There is no word, as has been pointed out many times, that describes what you are if you don't plumb. You're not an A plumber. You just you're something else, and uh, that's the way that the word atheist applies as well. There's no A scientist or A painter or A mechanic. You're just simply something else, and uh, so that word really just. You know, it, it has no real meaning in the world except for the fact that we are a minority at this point in time. So I think that the word is, is, is important in the shock factor that it uses, which is why I, I denote myself as one. However, uh, if we could make a new word to replace it and it became prevalent, uh, I would be all for it. Um, so, uh, like I said, I understand that's a, a little hypo hypocritical in the, the two different ways that I look at it, because I like the shock factor, but at the same time, if we could make it so that it was easier for people to understand that we just simply don't think this, then it would be a good thing. Um, so, uh, anyway, that's my answer to your questions. Uh, please check out Relax Scott Folk, link over there, um, and, uh, and I hope to see you in the next chat room. As always, don't take my word for it, for yourself.